Hi everyone, welcome back to Shalama Craft. I have a um, DIY project I want to share with you guys for the first time. My first time ever, ever um, coffee dyed or tea dyed my um, paper. And these are regular um, printer paper. And um, this is my first time doing it. And these are all the coffee dyed printer paper that I did. And I started yesterday in the morning. And I did all of these coffee dyed paper for the first time. And it came out beautiful. It takes me two days to do this set of paper. And then I did some coffee dyed doily. All these I did yesterday morning. And they're all dried. I didn't dry it in my microwave or in the oven. I bring it down in my craft room. And um, what I done, I used one of my cooking calendar with this, the holes in it. And after I finished dipped it in the coffee, I put it in there so all the water drains out. Once the water drains out and it completely not dripping anymore, I bring it down in my craft room and I just spread it out. And where my craft room is, I have the furnace, my furnace room where the heat, uh, heat the furnace run to give the heat. We use oil to. Um, heat up the furnace we don't use gas so I got heater all the way around in my craft room so the heat from the heater is so warm down here in my um, craft room it dries all these paper this in in two days you guys not, might not believe me but in two days I air dry all these paper in my craft room because I have heater everywhere in here and plus the furnace running and I open the door towards the furnace room so the heat keep blowing in here so down here is warm warm when I tell you it's warm so I did all the um, the copy paper the regular paper from the um, copy machine and then I did all these doily and I didn't I didn't iron them that's the way they came out these are all the doily I did coffee dyed and I like them it's like really nice I like it I love it I have some more of the little ones the little ones I'm gonna um coffee dyed so when I do my project I have coffee dyed paper so these are um my first first attempt to do do it I wake up yesterday morning and I said I have to try it because I saw a lot of video coffee dyed paper and coffee dyed coffee filter and all all of this so I said let me give it a try and my coffee filter I did all of this this is and I didn't iron it that's how it came out that's how it came out nice and smooth I put the same I put them in my calendar and they dried once the water drained out I bring it downstairs and I put it and they all they dried I don't have to iron it and ask me how I did this I didn't lay it one by one I took this one here I I had a bunch in my hand and I split it in three I didn't even separate it I split it in three and I put it in one of my um, pen my cookie sheet is like really deep and I just lay them on top of each other like like that I put them like that inside the pan and I leave it over this one here I leave it overnight that's why I have a darker color I leave my coffee filter overnight and I took it out this morning and I dried I drained it about seven o'clock this morning I drained it I brought it downstairs because it's so warm down here and I put it right where the heater was across from where the heater is so the heater the heat dries it so all these fav all these all these I did in two days all of these I did in two days 
and I'm planning to do some more because um, I didn't want to take the chance and do it in the uh, oven in my oven or in the microwave I take a chance and I do it just like you know dry it drain it out in my in my calendar once you put it in the calendar you separate it like in three parts and let it sit there and all the drips let it drips out instead of laying flat it dries faster I think that's that's the experience I have and it dries really fast and I have all this all of this I have in two days if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up thank you for watching bye bye I saw my hand